Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new today. I'm going to share a grocery haul for you guys as well as some meal prep for my weekly meals that I have planned. I'm doing sheet pan meals this week so I want all of my produce washed and prepped for those meals and stay tuned because we're also going to be making some healthy chocolate zucchini muffins and some really delicious jalapeno popper chicken salad. And I also would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators, whether you are a beginner or a pro in whatever your interest may be. Skillshare offers classes in film and video, music, lifestyle, fine art, from crafts to home business to health and wellness. There's something for everyone, no matter your interest in hobbies. Right now, I've been enjoying a class called YouTube Success taught by Marcus Brownlee. As a YouTuber, I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos and just overall skills in the YouTube world since it is my job, but not only is it my job, it's also my hobby, so I really enjoyed this class. Most classes are under 60 minutes and you can take them at your own pace so they fit any schedule. It's curated specifically for learning meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, we are gonna start off with a grocery haul. I have some fully cooked sausage patties this is the family size bag it's 35.6 ounces so we like to do these for breakfast but a lot of times i will pop one or two in the air fryer in the mornings for ray and i'll give her some fruit with it so got some more of those we got some cooked peeled deveined tail on extra large shrimp that's going to be for one of the sheet pan meals we're doing. I got some whole milk yogurt. So Ray is currently on whole milk, um, but her doctor wants her drinking more. So to supplement it, I go ahead and get this whole milk yogurt for her. This is the only brand that I can find whole milk yogurt in. All the other brands are low fat. So you guys let me know if you know of any other brands that are whole milk because this is almost $4 for this container of yogurt so I got some mild cheddar cheese this is a two pound block I'm gonna shred this up and bag it and then we'll have shredded cheese to go with various meals I got some Lee and Davis pork sausage this is our favorite brand of sausage Lee and Davis I believe is a local brand and our Walmart carries it um, they just have really good meat so we always like to get their sausage I got a two pack of cream cheese. Uh, this will be for the jalapeno popper chicken salad. So I got some of that. I got some more nails. These are the nude acrylic. I've been liking these a lot. The ones I'm wearing today are the Impress. They don't require any glue. You just press them on, which I seem to like pretty good. They were pretty easy to put on. We'll just see how long they last. Um, but these, of course, require glue. So uh, I've got some of those. I got some hash browns with onions and peppers. Uh, that will be for the breakfast sheet pan meal. I got some bacon bits. I'm going to cheat whenever I make my jalapeno popper chicken salad and just use bacon bits instead of frying the bacon. I got some sweet potatoes. That'll be for a sheet pan meal. I got some baby carrots also for a sheet pan meal. Um, I got two packs of this fajita seasoning mix. I'm going to do a chicken fajita sheet pan dinner and then we're going to make some homemade tortillas to go with it. So I got two packs of that. I got some fresh green beans. These always work out better for sheet pan dinners. They just cook up better and they have a better flavor. So I got some fresh green beans. I got a three pack of bell pepper. This is for a couple of different meals. Um, these are looking kind of dirty to me. I don't know if you guys can see. 
um, but they were looking kind of dirty, so but I'm gonna wash everything. I got some little potato company blushing bell potatoes. We'll do that for a sheet pan dinner. We got some broccoli florets. This is gonna go with our tilapia. I actually ordered a smaller bag, but they gave me this giant bag, so I'll see what I can do with that. I got a bag of cilantro. Up here in the front, I got a lime, and then also a lemon for flavoring. And then the last thing that I got from Walmart is this butter flavored spray. I like to have this whenever I'm making waffles on the waffle iron. Um, but Walmart was out of all this produce, so I had to run into Kroger and I grabbed this this morning. So I got some squash, I got two of those. I got two zucchini. I'm gonna be making some zucchini chocolate muffins and then one is for a sheet pan dinner. I got some green onions and asparagus. Here in the front, I got one jalapeno pepper. And then I forgot to put creamer on my Walmart order. So I grabbed some of this creme brulee while I was in Kroger. I've never had this before, so maybe it's good. I really like the sweet cream creamer. Um, and I've seen that, but the only brand they had that in was the Coffee Mate. And I'm just not really a fan of their creamers. So I went ahead and got this creme brulee and we'll see how good that is. Um, but yeah, I was just really shocked that Walmart was out of all this produce. Like, is there a shortage right now? Um, I could see like being out of one or two things, but they were out of all of this. So I had to run into Kroger this morning and grab that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get what I can put away and then we'll start washing and prepping the produce. So when I opened up the produce drawer, I realized I have nowhere to put the produce because it's filled with juice boxes. So I'm going to take those out and store them into bins so that the drawer is free. I'm gonna go ahead and start washing all of the produce that needs to be washed. I'm rinsing the green beans under cold water. Even though these are supposed to come washed and ready to eat, I still like to rinse them because I have gotten them before where they would have a slimy residue. So it just makes me feel better to rinse them off. So as I said earlier, we're going to be doing sheet pan meals this week, which I am filming. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to come on Sunday. I will also have a list of the sheet pan meals I have planned out listed below in my description box. So as I prep this produce, I'm keeping in mind what we are actually going to be using it for during the week and how we need to cut it for the meals we plan to make so that on the night of, all I have to do is place it onto the pan with the meat. Another thing I did whenever I prepped is I stored it into mason jars, at least as much as I could anyways. Some of the produce wouldn't fit and I just stored that into other containers.
The container I'm storing the carrots in is called a Fridge Smart from Tupperware. It has a three-way venting system that'll keep your produce fresher longer. On the front of the container, it gives you a chart of all of the produce you can store in it and it tells you where to slide the tab. So I always have a Tupperware link down below so you guys can find this. Sometimes I'll put grapes in here and they really hold up a lot longer. Grapes and carrots are two things that we either eat up really quick or we don't. So this container is nice for the times that we don't eat it up so quick. Now for the sweet potatoes, these are going to be for a tilapia sheet pan meal. So I'm going to peel four and then leave the rest in the bag. And the recipe calls for them to be cut into fries. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna make are these chocolate zucchini muffins. I've never made zucchini muffins before and I've always wanted to try them. So I found the simplest recipe I could find on Pinterest and gave them a shot and they were so delicious. I'll leave the recipe down below, but the first thing I'm gonna do is peel and shred my zucchini and I went ahead and shredded it onto a tea towel so that I could squeeze it dry. You want to get as much of the moisture out that you can. You could also do this in a fine mesh strainer just by pressing on the zucchini with a fork or a spoon. I'm going to start by mixing all of my dry ingredients and then in a separate bowl I will mix the wet ingredients together with the zucchini and then I'll combine the two. And not in the recipe, but I'm going to add in some chia seeds. You can't tell they're even there and it makes them just a bit more healthier.
so these muffins aren't overly sweet at all they look like they are with all of the chocolate chips but the muffins themselves aren't overly sweet at all so while the muffins cool I need to shred up the cheese and my favorite way to do this is with the KitchenAid it's fast and it takes little to no effort I used to do this by hand and I dreaded it because it was so tiresome <laughs> doing that much cheese by hand but the KitchenAid has completely changed the game We only kept out a few of the muffins in the cake plate and then stored the rest in the freezer for later. I think that these will reheat really well. The very last thing I'm going to make and was so delicious is this jalapeno popper chicken salad. This is my first time making this, but I will definitely make it again. I'll leave the recipe down below. I'm using canned chicken that I've drained, but you can use rotisserie or chicken that you cook yourself. I'm just taking my fork and breaking that up. And then next I'm going to add in some bacon bits. The recipe calls for fresh bacon, but I didn't feel like doing all that, so I'm using bacon bits. I also want to add that I'm not following the measurements on the recipe exact. I'm just kind of looking at the ingredients and then I'm just adding them in according to our liking. So I started off by only adding in half the block of cream cheese, but I went back and I added in the rest and I did not add in the whole jalapeno. I was a little scared that it might be too spicy, so I held back on that, but it was actually fine. So I think the next time I would add in the whole pepper and it would be just fine, but it was so, so good. We ate hours on crackers and I think it would be really good on a sandwich too, but this is just a good lunch or snack to have have in the refrigerator for the week so thank you guys for watching today's video I hope that it gave you motivation to do your meal prep for the week because it does make life that much easier when you have so many other things going on remember to check out Skillshare the link for that is down below the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click that link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye